you try to come to me. I've told you, just leave me alone and I won't jump. I want to stay here, but it's nice. Stay here? How would you stay here? What would you do? How would you live? I'd be all right. I've told you, stop being silly. What are you worried for, eh? You don't care, do you? Do you? About you. If I didn't care, why would I be up here now trying to talk you out of doing something stupid? <laughs> because if I jumped over, you get into trouble when you get back to school. That's why, Brixie, to stop going on. You hate me. Don't be ridiculous. Just because I'm a school teacher, that doesn't mean that I don't care. Don't lie, you. I know you hate me. I've seen you going home in your car, passing us in the street. And the way you look at us, you hate all the kids. How can you say that? Why can't you just stay out here and live one of the nice white houses and do the garden and that? Look, Carol, you sound like someone who's given up on life. It seems for you like there's ending in it, instead of just beginning. Look, if that's what you really want, when we get back to school, what's stopping you working hard, getting a good job, and then moving out here when you're older, eh? Don't be so bloody stupid. It's been a great day today. I loved it. Don't want to leave here and go home. If it stayed, it wouldn't be any good though, would it? It'd send the coppers to get me. We'd what have to. It? How would you survive? <laughs> no. I'm not going back. <laughs> No, 
Now look, all bears have got permission to come on the trip and you haven't yet paid, I want you to come over here. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Briggs. Good morning. Good morning, you two. Where are you supposed to be? Well, well, oh come on, move it. Got my guns, got my eight and fence. Gotta gotta clean them, my best friends. Just about ways to get away from me. Gotta tell me my forgiveness. Got my guns, got my eight and fence. Gotta gotta clean them, my best friends. After the last trip of hers, I said no more, absolutely no more. Look, just look. Complaints with the residents of Derbyshire. Well, how the hell she managed this thing? When I was away at conference, George approved it in my absence. He wasn't aware of any ban on remedial department outings. It will have to be cancelled. If it is, she'll resign. Good. The school will be better off without her. There are not many of her type about, you know. By and large, I reckon she does quite a good job. She keeps them well out of the way with them reading machines and plasticine, it's only when she's let loose with them. Okay. I'll have to go with her then. Kids. It's no joke. I'm sorry, we don't allow that. 
Here comes Mr. Happiness. All right, brother, I'll take them for you. Now listen, everybody. If anyone has brought chocolate or lemonade with them, I want them to put up their hands. There you are, driver. All right. No, it's not right. You don't just believe kids. They have to be searched. You don't just take their word for it. Look, can I have a word with you, driver? In private. <laughs> what's your name, driver? Me name? I don't usually have to give me name. Oh, come on. What's your name? Scorpio. Ronnie oh, Scorpio. Well, Ronnie, just take a look at those streets. Now, Ronnie, would you say they're the sort of streets that house prosperous parents? We normally do the better schools. All right, Ronnie, you don't like these children, I can see that. But do you really have to cause them so much pain? What have I said? I only told them to wait. Ronnie, the children with me today don't know what to do to look at a bar of chocolate. Lemonade, Ronnie. Lemonade never touches their lips. These are the children, Ronnie, that stand outside shop windows in the pouring rain, looking and looking but never getting. Even at Christmas time, when your children from the better schools are singing carols, opening presents, these children are left outside, left to wander the cold, rules. <laughs> Yeah, run to the shops and see what sweets you can get. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I lied like hell, of course. All right, now listen, everyone. We've been setting off for Conway in a couple of minutes. Yeah! Now we want everybody to enjoy themselves today. So I don't want any silly squabbling, and I don't want anyone to do anything dangerous either to themselves or to others. That's the only rule we're going to have today. Think of yourself, but think of others as well. Miss, miss, we're coming with you. And where's the old Brian? He didn't give us one. He's coming himself. He said to wait. Uh, he's coming to keep an eye on us. We'll make sure we don't enjoy ourselves. Well, I suppose we just have to deal with him in the best way we can. All right, you two, on you go. Thank you. <laughs> no. Why? Because we claim the back seat. That's why. <laughs> they are folks. We used to be, so, shoot. Now move before I meet ya. Why you Dixon, sit down. So we I said sit, lad. Now move. No, 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 no. <laughs> sit down, girl. What you doing, what you doing? Sir, sir, sorry, I haven't got a seat. Well, find one, girl, find one. <laughs> Got some real bright spots here, Mrs. Kane. The right bunch. Well, I think we might just manage to survive now that you can come along to join us. Well, the headmaster thought you could do with an extra member of staff. Looking around at this lot, I'd say he was quite right. There's a few I wouldn't mind slinging off right now. Linda, Croxley, sit down, girl. Now, listen up, everyone. We don't want you to think that we don't want you to enjoy yourselves today. Because we do. But a lot of you won't have been on a school outing before and won't know how to enjoy yourselves. So I'll tell you. To enjoy a trip upon a coach, we sit upon our seats. We do not wander up and down the aisles. We do not use obscenities or throw each other sweets. We talk politely, quite do not smile. So there'll be no shouting on this outing, will there? Yes, sir. Will there? Yes, sir. No, sir. We look nicely through the windows at the passing scenery. We do not raise our voices, beat our fists. And I do not, are you listening? No, I do not want to see two fingers raised at passing motorists. To enjoy this treat, just stay in your seats. Be quiet, be good, and behave. I'm gone, I've got no yeah! Where you be? Sir, get sweets. Sweets? Sweets? All right, thank you. Sit down. <clears throat> Can I have a word with you? Uh, in private. <laughs> 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 Like, 
Little souls, lost and wandering and cruel or heartless. How are you getting on with this, then, sir? Is there we saw you doing that bubble the other day, sir? Did you put it in, sir? All right, you've all got sweets, have you?
You know, for a while, Pa, I learned to read and write. Do you think you'd be able to live in one of the nice places? Well, you could try, love, couldn't you, eh? Yeah. Ah, Don't you ever notice what's around you, boy? It's only the docks, sir. You don't see buildings like that every day in the week. Just think of the work that we did to that. <clears throat> do, do you like it down there, then, sir? I'm going to fill you off on that weekend. Take your clothes off. Are you paying attention, Riley? There's a wealth of history there that won't be here much longer. My old fellow used to work down there. What did he think of it? He hated it. Well, tell him take another look. He might appreciate it. I'll have a job. I haven't seen him for two years. Oh, look, there's Sharon! Sharon! There's a proxy! What are you doing, girl? What? Listen, I don't like your attitude. I don't like it one bit. What have I said? I I'm like... talking about your attitude. Now, you carry on like this, and I'll see to it that when we reach Conway Castle, you spend your time with the coach. I don't care. I don't know want to see no crappy castle anyway. You just can't yourself lucky you're not a lad. I'm warning you. Any more unpleasantness from you, and I'll see to it that it's the last trip you ever go on. Is that understood? Is it? Yeah. Right then, sit down. Right, you, wake up. What's your name? Sir B. What's your name, lad? Dolly, sir. Right, McNally, back in the coach. Sir, I don't like the back. Never mind what you like. Come on, back in the coach, back in the coach, move it. Come on, Andrews, shut up. Well, Andrews, how long have you been smoking? Sir, I don't. Since I was eight. And how old are you now? Sir, 13, sir. And what do your parents say? Sir, my mouth says nothing about it. But when my dad comes home, sir, he belts me. Because you smoke? No, sir, because I won't give him one. <laughs> I take it your father works away from home then? No, sir. But you say when he comes home. I thought you meant he's away a lot. He is, sir, but he doesn't go to work. What does he do then? I don't know, sir. He comes round every now and then and, and has a bargain with me man. Then he goes off again. He tries to get money off her. She won't give him it though. She hates him. We all hate him. <clears throat> Why don't you promise yourself to give up smoking? You must realise it's bad for your health. Sir, I do, sir. I've got a terrible cough. Well, why don't you pack it in, then? I can't. Thirteen, and you can't stop smoking? No, sir. Well, you better not let me catch you at it again. Oh, no, sir, I won't. <gasps> There's the tunnel! The man's the tunnel! We're going to the tunnel! <laughs> Before you got on the coach, shouldn't you? Then it is, sir, but I've got a very weak slider. Well, a little control will help strengthen it. Sir, sir, I'm wet, Miss Hart. Oh, 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 oh. Shut up! <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. <Mr>. Kent. <laughs> I would like to go to the toilet myself. Okay. Sir, sir. Yes, Mildred. Sir, I want to give you a way that over 600 people per year die from ruptured bladder. Oh, but shut up! Driver, would you pull in the toilet up ahead, please? Thank you. 
All right. I want everybody back on the coach in two minutes. Those of you who need to use the toilets, off you go. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Just watch it, Brian, right? I always said you were going to show the woods and lakes in that. I know quite well what you meant. And if I were you, I'd put that bag out before it burns your hand. If Mr. Briggs catches you, you spend the rest of the day in the front of the coach with him. Now, you don't want that now, do you? No, shit. Now, put it out. Come on, put it out. I'll show Mr. Woods and Lakes for you, sir. <laughs> come on, Brian, come on. Right, okay, Molly, I think that's the lot. Wait for me. Wait for me. Oh, Alright, 
I think that's fine with you. Thank you, sir. Well, it's time to buy you. Then you must credit, Mrs. K. Perhaps that's true. If you stake your reputation on a stationary view. Come on, it's better than a rabble than they are as good as gold. For a straight line, it's a wonderful thing to be born. With organization, Mrs. K, with organization, and we done.
there is a very dangerous animal. I mean, just look at the size of those claws. Imagine the damage they can do. Could it kill you, sir? Well, why do you think they keep it in a kid boy? Sir, I think that's cruel, sir. Don't you? No, none of it's treated well. You must remember, Oxen, that an animal like this would have been born in captivity. It's always had walls around, so it'll never know any other kind of existence. Ah, oh, but it does. How do you know? Sir, just told the acne. The most modern indication is the dog's acne age. No one knows anything different about us. So no one wants anything different. Well, why does it kill people then? What's that got to do with big dickhead? <laughs> it kills people because people are cruel to it. They keep it in here, in this pit, so when it gets out of bounds, my mad wants to kill you. Can't you see? She's stupid, sir. Tell her to shut up. I'm not stupid. Even if it had been a dolly like me there, there was no one, wasn't it, sir? No what, sir? No about all the ways of living, about being free. See, it only wants to kill you because they keep attracting you. But if it was free, then it was truly all right. Wouldn't want to kill them, would it? It would be friends for you. I wouldn't be absolutely sure of that one. Sir's right, Sam's kill you because it's them to kill you. Come on, Sam, get to the bed. Come on, Sam. No way, sir. Let's see the big one. We'll get rid of them all eventually, all right? Come on, then, Sam. Go oh, no, 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 no. Oh, properly, properly. Oh, where are all the other teachers that you need to go? Well, we are getting on regarding the questions. Yes, yes, they'll be very good. Well, I'm just on my way for a cup of coffee. Do you want to join me? No, we're just on the way to Pets Corner. Oh, oh, it's all right, sir. We'll go on our own. Yeah, we'll be all right. Yeah, can these people be trusted, Mrs. King? No, they'll be all right. Colin and Susan are walking around. The place is warm, Go on, say you go and have a cup of You can trust us. Oh, can I? If I go for coffee with Mrs. Kane, can you people be trusted to behave responsibly? Yes, sir. Sir? What sir is that, sir? Oh, let me see now. That's, um, yes, yes, that's a call. What call? Yes, and they're very good talkers, actually. You see, I told you what to do, Pat. Little coat! Little coat! Come on, say you did not make a sparrow. Like real people, what happens? 
Well, that man was right. You act like animals. Animals! Come on, take the animals back. Oh, and that's why you're treated like animals. And why you'll always be treated like animals. Don't do that, Linda. Oh, I 
Yeah. 
I thought I made it perfectly clear. I was having nothing more to do with your outing. Have you seen Harsha? No, I haven't. I think she may have gone to somewhere. You mean you've lost her? No, I meant she might have gone to somewhere. Well, if that's not losing her, what is? I'm surprised you haven't lost half a dozen of them already. Listen, Briggs. No! Time. You listen, Sonny! Don't you try and tell me anything, because you haven't done the right. Don't you worry. When we're back at school, your number's up. And yours. And yours, and don't think I didn't see what you were up to at Riley earlier on. I have the lot of you. Would you mind postponing a press until we find Carl Chandler? At the moment, I say the most important thing is to find that first. Don't you <laughs> try to find her. Susan, you can be president of April 4. Please, please have a look for her. permission to come on these cliffs. No one. I'm talking to you, Miss Chandler. Now listen here, young girl. Don't you come near me. Pardon? I don't want you to come near me. Very well, then just get a move on and let's get down to the beach. You go. I'm not coming. You what? Tell Mrs. Cage she can go home without me. I'm stopping here. Now listen here, young girl. I've had just about enough today. Just about enough! And I'm not going to put up with a pile of nonsense from the likes of you. Now come here! Try and get me and I'll jump over! I Listen, you stupid girl. You come here this minute! I'll not tell you again. I'll give you five seconds. Five seconds. One, two, three, four. I'm warning you. Bye. I've told you. I'm not coming with you. I will jump, you know. I will. What are you trying to do to me? I've told you. Just leave me alone and I won't jump. I want to stay here. But it's nice. Stay here? How could you stay here? What would you do? How would you live? I'd be all right. I told you, stop being silly. What are you worried for, eh? 
You don't care, do you? Do you? What? About you. If I didn't care, why would I be up here now trying to talk you out of doing something stupid? Because the mind jumped over. You get into trouble when you get back to school. That's why, Briggsy, to stop going on. You hate me. Don't be ridiculous. Just because I'm a school teacher, that doesn't mean that I don't care. Don't lie, you. I know you hate me. I've seen you going home in your car, passing us in the street. And the way you look at us, you hate all the kids. How can you say that? Why can't you just stay out here and live one of the nice white houses and do the garden and all? Look, Carol, you sound like someone who's given up on life. It seems to you like there's ending in it instead of just beginning. No, if that's what you really want, when we get back to school, what's stopping you working hard, getting a good job, and then moving out here when you're old enough, eh? Don't be so bloody stupid. It's been a great day today. I loved it. Don't want to leave here and go home. If you stayed, it wouldn't be any good though, would it? You'd send the coppers to get me. We'd have to. How would you survive? <laughs> no. I'm not going back, so. Carol, please. Sir. Sir, you know if you'd been me old fella? I would have been alright, wouldn't I? <coughs> Come here, Carol. Please.
How to run a lawn in no idea where It's a funny way of life
Grant announced that we're running for an extra two nights next week, Monday and Tuesday, so please spread the word. <laughs> with me. You might marry me. 